we appreciate you having us. I apologize for us being three or four minutes late. I was I was fixing my hair. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to start this off, man. No no wonder you guys do so well. You have to put up with him. Yeah. Golly. They they overcome their coaching every day, <laughs> no doubt. So for you to get here at least this early must mean y'all had a pretty good practice today then. We uh knock on wood, we've had a whole lot of good practices. Um we got a team that is a uh a big team, little me team. There's not any ego on a the team. They're uh they have done nothing but be coach pleasers all summer and uh, been been one of the most fun groups I've ever been around. Um, and, and I look forward to, to seeing this team grow along the way. It's, it's going to be a whole lot of fun because we're, we're jam-packed with a whole bunch of high-character kids. And uh, that will win you one or two you're not supposed to, I can assure you. Well, tell me something, and I'm being a little facetious here. Who made your schedule? <laughs> well, uh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, 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 I'll tell you this. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure that that we played the best, um, but I also wanted to make sure that we got to uh, – we got to – the kids got to experience something special. You know, um, yeah. we got – you know, the Irk Russell Classic last year was, was as fun a – uh, as fun an atmosphere as, as you'll ever get. Yeah, we're playing a great team, but but man, to start the year in that college football stadium, um, for us just to get to go down and and spend a couple of days on a charter bus and going out to eat and hanging out. Uh, my whole family goes. You know, I, I'll look back and you know this year the little Irk will be asleep in Makai's arms on wow. the way to the game. You know, so <laughs> so for all of us, it's just a great it's just a great family. Uh, family affair um you know and <laughs> shoot we didn't do ourselves any favor scheduling um even down to the scrimmages but i think we'll be better for it in the long run well you and i both know and uh cooper you and mckay also know if you play soft you're going to be soft no doubt so uh cooper what do you think about the schedule you're getting ready to play I mean, pull, pull your microphone over there closer it, it just bites just a little bit I mean, I don't really have a problem with it. I think I'll, I like our schedule going throughout the whole year because we get good experience with good teams, and then we get to, you know, our region play, and we're ready to go, And you know, right when we hit that. What about you, Makai? Well, I don't really think nobody on our schedule can match our intensity and how yeah. we play. So I think we got a couple games that should be rather easy, but we got a lot of hard games too and a lot of competition. Awesome, and yeah, Cedar Town and uh, and Raven County, those are some some big guys to be playing. Carrollton in the scrimmage, those are big, pretty big teams to be playing. No early doubt. On. Um, you know the way it lines up for us when we talk about it as a coaching staff, um, you play uh, you play Rock Martin a scrimmage, and you got to be super yeah. disciplined against them. Yeah, against that wing stuff, they run a million formations, and you get to see. Who's going to play with great eye discipline and all of that defensively? And then you play Carrollton, and they're going to be very talented. And uh, you play against a spread team, and um, and then Raven County, um, you got to match their intensity and try to top it. You know, everybody says nobody plays harder than Raven County. Well, well, what a great test early in the year. And then Bowden is our ultimate rival. They're doing such a good job over there. I mean, you look at their kids; they look like a different bunch right, from a year right. ago. And uh, got to go on the road there, and then Cedar Town, um, one of the best backs in the country. Yeah. Um, but heck, our first region game, we got to play one of the best backs in the country in Tank Bigsby. So, so that's a, you know, <laughs> have one that doesn't count early on. Right. Right. Know, um, and then Cross Keys, I, I'm, I'm gonna give you the guarantee we're gonna win that one. <laughs> there you go. There's our one guarantee. <laughs> well, oh man. In, in my opinion. Uh, Losing all your seniors has made you better, you, and that I know that's going to sound strange, but here's the reason I think it's made you better. You have two young men here who have a dedication that those young men last year showed them, and now they're going to be better. Uh, Cooper, what are you going to do different than you did last year? What? How are you going to be better than you were last year? Well, I mean, I think – then we, I mean, I think the team's going to be better than we were last year more than anything. And uh, I don't know. We just practice harder, and, you know, I think we're going to be better. 
And Makai, what are you going? What are you going to do this year that's going to make you better than last year? Um, well, I'm playing both sides of the ball this year, so I got to right. get more at practice. Got to make sure I'm doing everything right at home, hydrating all that. So I got to give it all at practice. Make sure I'm in shape to go both ways every game, many places I can. Now, Cooper, you're changing positions this year, right? Yes, and so. You know, we go. I go back to that Raven County game last year. I think it was like every third down that needed a pass completed, you was the one that was on the other end catching it. That's right. Now this year, you're gonna be the one that's gonna be delivering the rock yes, to sir. everybody else. So you get Rockmart, you get Carrollton, and then you get Raven County. That's a great way to start the season playing quarterback, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> so you ain't gonna be no more battle tested than that to get ready for that. So tell us what it's gonna be like now walking into Statesboro when you line up as a receiver catching balls there to now that you're gonna be delivering the ball there. I think scoot up on the mic just a little bit for us, uh, Cooper. I think playing receiver actually helped me a lot this year, learning plays and stuff and understanding like the position of wide receiver and like where balls need to be thrown at certain spots and certain times. So I think. It, you know, playing that position last year really helped me out with quarterback this year, and I've been playing quarterback since I was a freshman. So I mean, it's really nothing that new to me. I'll tell you guys, you're not going to tell these guys. Uh, they're they're not going to listen to you if you say that you got to play Rabin and Bowden and Cedar Town and 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 Carrollton and Rock Martin a scrimmage. Those guys, these guys, their mentality is. Those guys are saying, "Crap, we got to play." There Raymond. you go. I and, love and that. And that's the way these guys are, and that's why I, that's why I'm coaching at the best place in the whole world, because I coach kids that do that. That's their mentality, and uh, and um, they're they're not going. I don't think they look at our schedule and go, "Golly, boy, that's a ringer." I know all of us do when we look at it. Uh, they go. Them cats got to play us. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and that's their mentality, and that's why they're great players. That's why they're great people. That's why they're great leaders, and that's why they're great winners. Now, with that being said, you're you're coming off of losing 31 seniors. Is that right? Something like that. Something yeah. like that. <laughs> okay. And a lot of them are going on to play uh, higher ball at yes, uh, different schools. What do you look like as far as your leadership, other than these two young men, as far as your leadership now that you've lost those seniors? Seth Hodges is a great leader. Uh, Seth Hodges plays fullback and Mike linebacker. Yeah. Uh, he's he's a great football player. Evan Marcuse is a great leader. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, um, we got a, a center named Isaac Childers who's a returning starter, who's a great leader of that group. Um and and what they do more than anything, hey Jacob Reynolds. I'm sorry if I'd have left him off, y'all got it. Y'all had to go on to. <laughs> Jacob Reynolds power clean 280 pounds last God. week. He weighed 138. You know Jacob. Uh, Jacob is is the ultimate leader by example. Uh, just a winner. Um, and 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 what they do more than anything is is they are uh, servant leaders. Our our off season. Uh, Senior leadership was on servant leadership and what that meant. And uh, these guys have taken that and, and run with it. And, and, and they do a great job every day of serving one another and, and making each other better. Now, you talked about Evan Marcuse. I think he's kind of taken uh, our community by storm at yeah, that video that you know, was posted. A lot, of, a lot of adults are posting on little on, on high school kids' stuff negatively, yeah, yeah, and, and that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's why I kind of wanted um, to talk about because you – know, uh, Because, you know, you put on their hand time, you know. Uh, Usain Bolt did run a 4-2-3 or whatever, but it was a laser – you know, there's a difference. Evan Marcuse, all I wanted to do was show everybody how fast he is by how hard he's worked. He's a 22-foot long jumper. Yeah. Power clean, 295 pounds. He ran a 50 in the 400. He was on a 4x4 four four team that shattered the school record. And uh, you guys did a great job of publicizing his accomplishments. And uh, for those adults who got on there and, and downplayed that and for his peers and all that, shame on them. Yeah. Because that was a hand time 40, which is not a laser time. Right. And he did a great job and had a great performance. And there were grown-ups talking about young people. And I hope those people are watching this and uh, shame on them. Yeah. You think y'all can beat Evan in a race? Not a chance. Not a chance? No, they not can't. 
No, no. Now, I, I ran a four. <laughs> four <laughs> years, 23 days yeah, to get the first base. That's right. But I, I mean, also, I'm telling you, when I was told yeah. that and I saw it, I thought, good Lord, bad English, there ain't nobody going to catch him because if somebody's chasing him, he's going to be even faster. That's right. My, my point is this. You talked about that not only does he play football, but he plays other sports as well. That's right. Being from a, used to a small school, I understand that. Do you two guys play other sports? also shaky head yes of course because <laughs> i know so cooper what do you play other than football uh i play basketball and baseball i'm starting basketball this year so. huh? okay and makai what about you baseball and football. well see that how does that help you football wise Either either one of you, but baseball talking to the microphone. The yeah, speaking to, speaking to the mic for us right there. Well, baseball helps me for the safety point because I played center field like most of my life, so it right. just helps me read, take the right steps to the ball, stuff like that. Now, coach, you could really, and I'm sorry, Cooper, I'll give you a chance in a minute, but you could really easily say, "Thou shalt not play another sport." Why don't you do that? That's crazy. Yeah, I got you, Voss. That's crazy. And that drives we, me absolutely we, nuts. We, uh, I think seven of our nine baseball starters that made it to the, what did y'all make it, Final Four or whatever, mm-hmm. they were were football players. Our our four-by-four four track team that shattered the school record uh, were football players. Our basketball team that won the region, uh, four out of five are football players. Um, we don't do spring football. Um you know, we have a meeting at the first of the year, at first of the winter, and we go, who plays, who plays baseball, who plays soccer, who plays tennis, who runs track, or who who does this? And if anybody's still sitting down at the end, we go, all right, you're on a track team. You know? <laughs> I love and, it. But what it does more than anything, it makes you compete. It it makes you compete. You can go in there to your morning workouts and all that, and you can fake it, and you can do all that. You can't fake it when you're in a live deal playing for your school, you know, and and having pride being a Blue Devil out there competing. Awesome. And a lot of people, you know, since GHSA gave that opportunity for people to have spring practice, play somebody in a scrimmage, or you can go inter-squad, or you could not have it at all. Right. You know, sounds like you guys have found the best thing that works for you. Because I think sometimes people just play because that's what the community is expecting them to do, right. is that you got to have an extra ball game there. And sometimes, I don't know, for me it's hard to get ready for somebody in 12 days when you got a lot of stuff that you got to get ready for when you don't know what you got. We, we wouldn't have had a – Y'all wouldn't have had a team. Wouldn't have had a team. Yeah. And, and that's fine. You know what we did? We went out there and we watched Cooper hit leadoff and – and play outfield and tried to root them on to the state championship in baseball and it was uh uh it was a very enjoyable spring watching all those guys compete into into early to mid May. Okay. I'll tell you right now we are super excited uh obviously for the season but August fifteenth, I know me and I think coach are gonna be there for sure to see that ball game. So we're looking forward to also uh coaches clinic having you there. It's always fun to talk to you at Coach's Clinic. But thank you guys so much for coming. Y'all are great as always and look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you guys. All right. Shoot, I'm ready to go to Statesburg. (laughs) Oh you're ready to go to Statesburg. (laughs) I'm sure he's ready to play Carrollton first. When we come back, Team SMI starting lineup media day, we'll get to the county schools right after this.